Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. A torchlight march organized in Geneva in support of Armenia and Artsakh. Azerbaijan started shelling capital Stepanakert at dawn. State Department warns of potential serious consequences if Turkey activates S-400 system. Azerbaijani men fly to the mountains and forest hiding from the mobilization. In Western Armenia, treasure hunters robbed the historic church. Today is the day of remembrance of the great Armenian poet Avadik Isaagan. A crowded torchlight march in support of Armenia and Artsakh was organized in Geneva, one of the largest cities of Switzerland. A number of citizens and deputies of Western Armenia also take an active part in the demonstrations and marches. The participants march from Wilson Palace to the Palace of Nations, where the UN Office of Human Rights is located, chanting Artsakh Armenia, we will win, Elif Jihadist Erdogan murderer. The participants of the march also demanded the recognition of Artsakh's independence. Azerbaijan started shelling capital Stepanakert at dawn on October 17. Residential areas were damaged. According to preliminary data, two civilians were affected. Artsakh human rights defender Artak Beglarian informs about this. Fortunately, people were in shelters and therefore it was possible to avoid big losses, Beglarian added. The air raid siren constantly sounded. Everyone was already on their feet since dawn. An hour after the first shelling, Azerbaijan again hit the central civilian infrastructure of the Artsakh capital, causing numerous destructions. Azerbaijan continues committing war crimes. The blindness of the international community also continues, the Artsakh Ombudsman said. The air defense units of the Republic of Armenia Armed Forces hit two enemy UAVs last night in the airspace of the Republic of Armenia. Spokeswoman for the Minister of Defense, Shushan Stepanyan, wrote about this on her Facebook page. The United States hoped that Turkey will not use Russian S-400 anti-aircraft missile systems, otherwise it will have serious security consequences. The United States has expressed to senior levels of the Turkish government that the acquisition of the Russian military system such as the S-400 is unacceptable, the State Department said on Friday, warning of potential serious consequences for its security relationship with Turkey if it activates the system. If confirmed, we would condemn in the strongest terms the S-400 missile launch as incompatible with Turkey's responsibilities as NATO ally and strategic partner of the United States, the State Department spokeswoman Morgan Ortega said in a statement. The real condition of the artificial state called Azerbaijan is obvious. Expert Karen Hovanisyan wrote about this on his Facebook page. He in particular noted, The panic in Azerbaijan has reached to enormous proportions. There is talk in Azerbaijan that the Armenians should occupy Ganja and that Aliyev sold it. Many in Azerbaijan hide from mobilization in many cases point to visible people and internal clashes take place. This atmosphere will eventually lead to a powerful explosion. The men fled to the mountains and forests hid from the mobilization and when asked the woman, they answered that their husbands and sons had left voluntarily and they had not heard from them for two weeks. In a word, every wave of our attacks undermines the foundations of the artificial state. The historical church in the province of Samsung, Western Armenia, was looted by treasure hunters. Different descriptions were painted on the church walls. Residents of the district note that the historic church has recently become a gathering place for people drinking alcohol. They demand to take actions against such incidents. Famous poet, prose writer, public figure, academician of the National Academy of Sciences of Armenia, Avedik Isaikian, was born in 1875 in Alexandropol. He studied at the Gevorkian Seminary of Hmyatsin and in 1893 entered the University of Leipzig as a free listener. Along with the literary activity, he was also engaged in political activity from a young age. Not believing the promises of the young Turks about the autonomy of Western Armenia, assuming that a pan-Turkish threat to Armenia could be prevented by Turkish-sponsored Imperial Germany, Isahakian left for Berlin to participate in the establishment of the German-Armenian society with a number of German intellectuals. The outbreak of the First World War and the genocide against Armenians confirmed this again gloomy predictions about the Young Turks' anti-Armenian policy. After the war, Isaacian reflected on the tragic fate of the Armenian people and their heroic liberation struggle. Isaacian's large-scale novel Ustakaron, which unfortunately remained unfinished, was to become a unique panorama of Armenian political life in late 19th and early 20th century. Ustakaron will end on the day when the Armenian issue is resolved, said the master. In 1946, he received the USSR state prize. From 1946 to 57, he was the president of the Writers' Union of Armenia, Vatikis. 
Isaac and died on October 17, 1957 in year one. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Sahak Sahakyan. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.